Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I've been using the TiVo Stream 4K for about two weeks now, and the more I use it, the more I would say this is a very, very capable device. All it needs is a little bit of tweaking, a little bit of disabling, a little bit of uninstalling to really give you the best possible performance. I mean, to be fair, I don't really use any of the pure TiVo features. I'm just looking for a junior or a partner device to my Nvidia Shield Pro. And I really do think with the right amount of tweaks, this is actually a very good companion for it. So in this video today, let me show you some of the things you can do on your TiVo Stream 4K to really give you the best possible performance. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so as a quick summary to the video, we'll be installing two applications onto our TiVo. The first is the remote ADB shell application, and this application will allow us to make remote ADB connections to our device. And the other application is the auxiliary application, which will give us like a real-time monitor of your CPU resources, of your free RAM, and other components on your device. Now, before we do all of that, the first thing we're going to do is just to enable the developer options on our TiVo. Now, the way we do that is if you go over to your settings, if you go down into device preferences, click on about, scroll down, and where it has build, if you press the button here, the select button seven times, we can see it tells you that you're a few steps away from being a developer. So let's keep doing that. And there we have, we now have access to the developer options on our system. And just as a word of warning guys, as I always say, if you don't know what you're doing inside the developer options, I highly recommend you don't make any changes just because making changes in there could have some serious negative effects on your device. So do bear that in mind. Let's go down and we can see we now have access to developer options. Let's open that up. And let's keep going down. And the first thing we want to do in here is to enable the USB debugging option. Let's tick that, click on OK. That's now all done. Let's keep going down. And the other thing I recommend in here, just to give you the maximum performance, is we keep going down, is we have the window animation scale, the transition animation scale, and the animated duration scale. I personally recommend turning these to off. And this really will give you the maximum performance on your device at the cost of just some you know, nicer looking animations. But if you really do want the maximum performance, then you really don't care about these animations. Okay, if I back out of that, we can just see now everything just seems that a little bit snappier because you're not waiting for those animations to load. So that's the first tip to get the best performance from your TiVo is to go into developer options and just turn those animation settings off for those three separate things. Once you've done that, we're now ready to install those two applications. Now to install those applications, we just use Downloader. Let's open that up. Let's just navigate to my website, which is just http colon forward slash forward slash bit dot ly forward slash tduk. That's me and the numbers 2019. Let's type that in and click on go. Now, when you get to my website, what you want to do is navigate over to the tutorial section. Now to do that, if you click on the hamburger menu, which is this thing over here and select tutorials. And the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can supercharge your TiVo Stream 4K. Now, if you don't see the latest tutorial for whatever reason, what you want to do is just refresh this page. And the way you do that is if you go over to the top, click on the context menu, and just select this option here, which is just disable JavaScript and reload page. Do that once, that'll refresh the page, then click on it again, just to make sure that you do leave JavaScript enabled. So let's click on that one more time. And this will just ensure that you do have the latest version of the tutorials page. And that's now all refreshed. So let's now open up the latest tutorial. And here it is. So the first thing we're going to install is the remote ADB shell. Let's click on that now. Let's scroll down and click on the green download button. Now, of course, guys, this is just the method that I'm using to make the ADB connection. If you're more familiar by doing ADB from your PC, you can do that. Or if you want to install this application via your cell phone, you can also do that. But at the end of the day, as long as we can make an ADB connection onto our TiVo, we can then apply the same commands I'm going to show you. Okay, let's click on install. Okay, let's click on done. Let's press the back button. 
Now I also recommend that you install the Android TV remote control which is available for both iOS and Android and this will just allow you to copy and paste the commands directly from our website and send those commands to remote ADB shell and it definitely will save you a lot of time in the process. And then lastly let's install the Auxilia application which will allow us to do the real-time monitoring of our TiVo stream 4K. Let's scroll down and click on the green download button. Okay let's click on done. Okay, so we've installed the remote ADB shell onto our TiVo and we've also installed the auxiliary application to do the real-time monitoring. Let's press the home key. Okay, so for us to actually start the remote ADB shell application, we will have to use a sideload launcher, which is this application here. And this is available from the standard Google Play Store. And this will allow you to see your sideloaded or your third-party applications on your device. Uh, let's open that up. These are all the applications on my device. Let's now open up remote ADB shell. Okay, let's click on OK. Now for the IP address here, because we're making a connection directly onto the device itself, we can just type in the localhost address, which is 127.0.0.1. Okay, let's type that in. Leave the port as 5555, and let's click on Connect. Let's click on Always Allow This Connection, and click on OK. And here we are guys, so we've now made an ADB connection onto our TiVo 4K stick. Now, as I previously mentioned, you can now type in commands manually yourself. Like for example, if you want to see uh, which packages are running on your system, we can just type in the command PM space list packages. Let's click on Let's click on run and that didn't work because the PM was auto corrected to capitals and these commands are case sensitive and this needs to be in lowercase. So I've just typed in again, so PM list packages. Let's click on run. And here we can just see some of the things running in the background on our TiVo 4K stream. Okay, so as we can see, typing stuff in with the remote control is very cumbersome. So let me now open up my Android remote application on my Android phone, but you can get an application also for your iPhones. Let me open that up. Okay, so here is my Android phone. Let me open up the remote application. Here it is. So this will now do a scan of your wireless network and show you all of the compatible devices. And there we can just see it's found my TiVo Stream 4K. So let me now click on that. Okay, so we are now connected. Let me press the home key. And there we can see, guys, I'm now controlling my device using my phone there. Okay, so what we want to do is stay in remote ADB shell. Let's go back to that. And let me now open up my website on my phone. Let's open up the latest tutorial so we can see all of the commands we want to type in. Here's the website there. Let's scroll down. Okay, so we've done these already. We've enabled the developer options. And what we're looking for here are the different commands to actually remove some of the built-in bloatware or some of the specific TiVo stuff that we don't want on our system. And the reason for that is, is because we're trying to get the most cleanest or most generic Android TV-like experience on our device to make it more like the Shield. So no more TiVo bloatware, no more TiVo preferences. We just want to get the most cleanest and fastest Android TV experience. Okay, so here we can see are the commands. And we can see some of the things that we're going to be disabling. So things like the TiVo launcher customization, some of these bug trackers, and even the TiVo stream application, guys. So if you really just want the fastest Android TV experience, let's now take off all of this bloatware. So what I'm going to do is firstly copy and paste the first line. Let's highlight that. So all of the commands begin as PM uninstall. Then we have a minus K, minus user. Let's copy that out. Let's click on copy. Let's now go back to the Android TV remote control. And let me see if I can now paste that in. So if I press and hold at the top here, click on paste. And we can see guys on the screen, that's now pasted in that command. So I can now click on enter. And we can see we now get a success message. So that application, the UTS MTA is not going to be running on my device anymore. Okay, so that's the first one. Let's go back. Okay, let's now turn off the TiVo Plus player. And of course, if there are applications in here that you do want to keep, then just don't run those commands. But in my case, because I want to get the most generic or most native Android TV experience, I'm going to remove all of these or all of this TiVo bloatware. So that's the second line copied. Let's go back to the remote control. Press and hold at the top. Click on paste. Click on go. Okay, that's the second thing removed. Okay, let me just now speed this up a bit. Actually, I just remembered one of my members of my channel actually left me a comment saying that you can actually chain these commands as long as you put a semicolon in the command. So I'm just gonna try that now and see if that works. So let's click on run. 
oh wow so that's actually working guys so what a great shortcut you can actually run all of those commands as a single command just by using semicolon in the commands so many thanks to aaron for that great tip okay that's now all done and just to check it one more time guys if i type in the same command again just to see did it actually uninstall those packages for me and also disable the last one so i press and hold here with the remote control this will then show you all of the commands that were previously typed in so here is the long command there let me try and run that again just to confirm that if it did actually apply those changes so let's run that again and there we have it guys we're now getting failure messages just to show you that those packages have already been removed from our system so all of that bloatware all of those tiva customizations all of those tiva things are now not running on our device anymore let me just press the home key now the other thing we can do is if we go over to settings if you want to remove some of the other applications like sling or maybe android games if you go to applications let's go to see all apps here for example we can see we have the sling application i can click on that I can click on for stop and I can click on disable guys. So that application now on my device is not going to run anymore. So that's the Sling TV disabled. But of course, guys, once again, if you are using Sling, then don't disable it. So let's back out of that. And also, for example, if you're not using play music, let's click on that. Click on for stop and click on disable. So let's back out of that. And Netflix, I'm still using uh, live channels. Click on that for stop and click on disable. So you can see guys, all of these bloatware, all of these things that Tivo have enabled by default, we can go through the list. Most of them you can disable or uninstall via the ADB command and the rest of them you can actually disable just from the GUI. Okay, so I'm not gonna be using the Google uh, Movies. Again, full stop and click on disable. I really do wish the Fire Stick was easy as this when it comes to disabling bloatware. And lastly, I'm going to disable the Google Play games. Okay, so we can see we've now disabled a couple of things and we've uninstalled a ton of things. So let's back out of that. Let's press the home key. And let me just take this opportunity to give a massive thanks to all of the new members on my channel. Your support really does mean a lot. And if any of you guys want to sign up, I'm doing a special promotion for the first 25 members of my channel, whereby all of you will be able to join my private chat group. And in this chat group, we can talk about stuff, we can provide support to each other, and we can also share our APKs. So if that sounds of interest to you, do have a look out for that join button. Thank you. And let's now start the Exilia application to see how we're doing for free memory and what the CPU usage looks like. Okay, here it is. Let's go over to information and just look at that guys. We have a solid 1.1 gigabytes of free memory on our TiVo stream 4K guys. So very, very easy to tweak, very, very easy to remove all of that bloatware. And just now navigating around the device you know, clicking on things, opening things up, everything really does seem to be a lot snappier than before. And I do say it one more time, guys, I really am impressed with the hardware of this device. And now following this process, we can say we have a, a very native-like Android TV experience on our device, guys. So all of that bloatware, all of that TV stuff that was kind of clogging our system has now all been removed. And really, once again, the performance of this guys is very very impressive that's all for this video guys many thanks for watching lots of you are asking for how we can really get the most from our tivo stream 4k so i do hope you like this one i've also got some other tutorials coming up on how you can enable a virtual mouse with the remote control how you can also change the launcher to a wolf launcher or to the standard leanback launcher and stuff like that so if you guys are interested in that then make sure you are subscribed do like and share this video and i'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon thanks